This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Denver, Karen Valentine, Walt, the cast of Soap, Henry Winkler, Mr. Ed and Wilbur, Marty J. Wiley, Mark Schnittbauer, and in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... Tuesday at 6, Wednesdays at 10, Thursdays at 3. That Darren Pamela Ferdin. Um, oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um, Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. The world of 60s and 70s television. Welcome to Vast Wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Vast Wasteland, the video journal of popular culture. I'm Mark Spindar, along with Wilbert Neal and Marty Wiley. Well, tonight we're going to talk about the, it's kind of like special appearance by episode. It's the people who just, just kind of hoard for TV as much as they possibly could. <laughs> it's like any show, you pay me the money, I'll be there. <laughs> That kind of deal. These guys would not turn a job down if their life depended on Gotta it. Gotta make a living. That's right. More money. That's right. <laughs> but before we get into that, we want to tell you that we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV Cable 21. Also, we want to tell you, if you want to write in to Vast Wasteland, you want to write into box 15, 14, 11, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Also... We want to congratulate Marty Wiley. Marty Wiley, who walked away with a slew, a boatload, a plethora of awards at the uh, at the at the big uh, ACTV many. Awards. It was a lot, more than anybody else. Well, I heard they were going to rename the show the, uh, the Marty MJ Wiley, Wiley Show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the MJ Wiley Memorial Awards Show. <laughs> but... It was a boatload, and you'll probably, uh, they'll be showing that pretty soon, so pretty much, if you want to see Marty getting up a lot and accepting awards, He's tune climbing in. climbing on this stage on top of a mountain, yeah. There you go. So tune in for that. But I did it in heels. <laughs> That's right. Anyways, for on to. who's interested in that. <laughs> yeah. Can and I you know, know who you are. <laughs> now, hey, now we can't, we can't mention that without mentioning the fact that, that our, our producer, our, our oh, director, yes. Our director, the was, guy off camera over that way. He's, he he was in on several of the things that were that were nominated for awards. Yeah, he did. Right. did and my he editing. Yeah, did your editing, and also our camera, camera dude. guy. Here. That's yeah. right. He yeah, got an award yeah. as well. We are the award-winning Vast Wasteland. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, this is quality TV, and it's free. <laughs> That's right. Don't let them take so it away from you. Don't complain Warner Cable. <laughs> so, on to tonight's episode. Special appearances by... <laughs> <laughs> well, who do we got first, uh, Wilbert there? <laughs> well, now, when, we, when I first thought about this, I was hoping that we would be able to find enough people, but by golly, they, they just... <laughs> there are oh, come on. loads. We they get to just rolling. We get to started, rolling. they just kept there going are. here. <laughs> who do we have well, first on the big hit parade? With? Well, let's, let's look at Eddie Albert. <laughs> Eddie Albert? <laughs> Eddie Albert? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> What did Eddie Albert do other than, uh, well, of course, he did. He had, he had two different TV shows that I can think of right off the bat. Okay. You had, you had your Green Acres, and, yeah. you, had your, and you had your um, uh, Switch. Wasn't those that were it? steady Switch, jobs. Yeah. Hmm? Those were steady jobs. Yeah. I mean, yeah, doing Green Acres, maybe, and I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> well, it seems that the other things that he did were back in the 50s. Yes. Back when nobody knew who he was, he was in a show called Leave It to Larry in 1952, where they he was revived as Hello Larry, Larry Tucker. <laughs> exactly. Where he played Larry Tucker, probably the, the, the lead character of the thing. You gotta assume. Nothing But the Best, which was a variety show. He was the host of Nothing But the Best <laughs> in 1953. Ooh. And then Saturday Night Review, it was another variety show. He was the host of Saturday Night Review, 1954. And then we take that big jump up to 1965 where he does the Green Acres thing. <laughs> it's obviously why he did Green Acres. He hadn't done stuff for a while. He's like, eh, my like career Ford. seems to be... <laughs> <laughs> so. And then, of course, we can look at Edward Albert, who is the son of Eddie Albert. <laughs> son of Eddie Albert. <laughs> who was like the... It uh, looks like he's the king of the... Um, the the mini series here. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's Richard Chamberlain. Cha Richard Chamberlain oh, is the he's, king. He's done okay. every mini series well, ever made. <laughs> Edward know, Albert. Roots, but you got to look out in the field for him. <laughs> Edward Albert's probably one of the one of the crown princes of, oh, well, of possibly, the mini series. Possibly. Mini series. What do you do? Well, we have here the last convertible, which might have just been pretty much a, a movie. Last, yeah, that's a movie, I think. Okay. I was back. I don't know, maybe in it was like 19, a two-parter. In 1979, he was Ron Dow, Dow Rimple. <laughs> huh? The Yellow Rose, a drama. <laughs> and he played Quisto Champion. This was in 1983, 84. Well, I guess that was a series. Yeah, must have been. Must have been. And Falcon Crest. He was on Falcon Crest. Oh, geez. As Jeff <laughs> Wainwright. Yeah. Of course, then, who wasn't? This is true. <laughs> That's, that's kind of why they created those nighttime soap operas, to give everybody who wasn't doing something at the time something to do. Right. But you know what the ultimate is? It's like people who have done nothing but game shows. Charles Nelson Riley. That's right. He's been on every game show ever invented. Brett Summers, that was her career doing yes. game shows. Yes. Vicki Lawrence did a lot of them. Oh, yeah. For and now, after Carol Burnett, and then she finally, gone, finally now graduated, gonna... graduated. It's kind of like the... the, the, uh, the pyramid of, of, star, of cheapo stardom. You have the guesting on game shows, then you get to host your own game show, and finally you get to host your own talk show. Yeah. Your own daytime talk show. Yeah. <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley, that was his oh, yeah. career. Nipsey Russell, what did Nipsey <laughs> do? He guest stars on game shows. That's what he did. <laughs> Well, if you, you wanted to see a poem, Shut you up. wanted to hear a poem, <laughs> just let Nipsey show him. <laughs> that's, okay. that's not right! <laughs> well, I'll do that would, for Wag. They would, yeah, they would, they would clap me. Yeah. <laughs> that would be his poem for the day. Yeah. Or yeah. just go, Nipsey yeah. <laughs> hey, did a poem. That whole match Jack game crew, in fact. The match good. game with Gene Rayburn, that whole crew, they were just game show people. Game and show people. I had nothing better to do. Come over to the, the studio. We'll <laughs> shoot a half done as us and other suckers. And then when you got into the 70s match game, it was all just innuendo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, but that, that, they made a living at it. That's I it. guess so. I mean, that, Double that's like... Double and innuendo. That's in fact, like, those were guests on the show. Yeah. Double on <laughs> and innuendo. innuendo. <laughs> Okay, let's move on here. Jack <laughs> Albertson. Jack Albertson, known to a, a lot man. of people as Grandpa Joe on um, <laughs> Willy Wonka and the He's Chocolate Factory. Yeah. <laughs> but by golly, he on TV, he was just a king, a star. Let's get go. Ooh, back in 1948. What? Wow. Wait a minute. 
we weren't born then. I don't well, think it neither. counts. <laughs> and, well, and apparently I, TV I, I, had just been born. I, I'm guessing he looked old even then, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably did. Or maybe he... 1948. And anyway, he was the host of a variety show. There were a lot of variety shows back then. Because they were really cheap. cheap. Broadway <laughs> Jamboree. This is, only, this is the only show cheaper than a variety show. That's right. Show. Come 1948. On. And then he was... He played Lieutenant Harry Evans on The Thin Man, which was a series in 19 from 58 to 59. Talk about people that look old forever. Remember every time they needed an old man, they got that old man named Bert, Bert? Oh, what? Lars? Mustin. No. Mustin? Bert Mustin. Mustin. Remember any time they needed somebody old yep. that looked old, he was the man. Yep. He was always old. Yeah, well, Bert's just, it seemed he's like... He's been on every TV show ever he's always He's always been old and with no teeth. Right. <laughs> and no hair. But to continue on with Jack Albertson here, <laughs> room for one more. He was Walter Burton. This is 1962. Ensign O'Toole. He was Lieutenant Commander Virgil Stoner, 62-63. Dr. Simon Locke. He was Dr. Sellers. Dr. No, excuse me, 1971-72. Graham, well, Chico and the Man, he was, was Ed the Brown, man. <laughs> he was the man, <laughs> 74 to 78, Grandpa Goes to Washington, and what a he horrible was show that Senator was. Joe Kelly, 78 to 79. The man just, just couldn't stop working. Boy, that Eddie Albertson, There's Jack Albertson, excuse me, I said Eddie, it's Jack. But let's talk about some of the heavyweights <laughs> in, the, uh, in the world of uh, just, you give me money, I'll be there. Okay, well, I think I think we have to mention first, we talked about the fact that variety shows were cheap to do. Right. It's kind of the idea, I think, that a lot of these people guest starred was because they were in the place, you right. know, in the studio at the time. Right. It's like they, they did the one rounds. show <laughs> and they're walking down the hall, yeah. there's another one going yeah. on, so they would stop in there, another guy, another one, you know. Or um, they were just like, they would like write their name down and tack it to the billboard. <laughs> yeah. Call me, yeah. please. I'm available between one yeah. and two. Paul Lynn had to be the king then oh. because he did Hollywood Squares. He was at Center Square for That's right. ever. But he did what? Bewitched. He did all the voices in the world oh, yeah. for cartoons. And, and the thing was, he never managed to make, he, they actually did the Paul Lynn show at one point, mm -hmm. and it was a complete disaster. <laughs> he couldn't, he yeah. just couldn't carry his own show. but. They just call him like mad to, to do uh, well, the little side parts. Well, you can only take so much parts. of that whiny little man stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Well, here, let me. I'll, I'll let you. Because he pretty much had this. Oh, what do we got look here? Look at the list here, okay. Paul Lynn. I'll look well, at this we have one the, for him. Well, we have, he was uh, uh, on uh, the Red Button show. We see a lot of a lot of variety shows. Craft Music Hall, Jonathan Winter's show, Dean Martin Presents the Gold Diggers. Where's Huddle? Oh, yeah. Great cartoon. But, uh, and he was on that, uh, Temperatures Rising, which, which is kind of an interesting, this was a show that, uh, they, they actually went through about eight different, uh, permutations of this show, uh -huh. and every single one of them mommed. <laughs> there was this guy who was like, this show will work, and it never did. <laughs> I don't get it. Now, let's see, he was Horace Fenton on Stanley in, uh, 56 to 57. And of course, his big stint on Bewitched Uncle as Arthur. Uncle Arthur. Zagazoogie, Zagazoogie, <laughs> Zagazoogie, <laughs> Zim. <laughs> <laughs> 1965 all the way to 72. He was on the Pruitts of Southampton uh, playing Harvey. Now, I believe I that was that, show. that was the That's one the that show Phyllis Diller uh -huh. starting. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And let's see, we've got, yeah, where's Huddles? The Paul Lynn Show was only on for a year playing Paul Sims. And uh, then, of course, he was a frequent guest on the Donnie and Marie variety series. Oh, yes, what one, a wonderful one, show. One I'm of, a little bit country. <laughs> one of the reasons variety shows are dead today, yeah. the Donnie and Marie show. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so this guy, you know, he, that he'd, was an he'd arrow be there. That was the heart, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let me, let, me, let me I look in this one, which is, gives, gives more credit to Paul Lynn here. He was on the Red Button <laughs> show and, on CBS from 52 to 53. Right? Um, what, did they mention the Pericotal Craft Music Hall? Yeah, yeah. the Craft okay. Music Hall, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Listening. Well, we'll move on down here. here. He guest starred on the Ed Sullivan Show right. in 1952. Mm -hmm. Ruggles of Red Gap in 1957. The Tonight Show in 1957. Phil Sober Show. Bilko's Big Woman Hunt in 1958. The <laughs> Lutz Show. Bilko's Big Woman Hunt? Bilko's Big Woman Hunt. That was the episode that he was oh, on okay. of the, the Phil Sober Show. It was a show. series. <laughs> 
I would hope not. The Luck Show with Rosemary Clooney in 1958. Steve oh, Allen presents Luck the show. Steve Lawrence Edie Gourmet Show in 1958. The Jack Parr Show in 1959. The George Goebel Show in 1959. The Phil Silver Show, Bill Go in Outer Space in 1959. Jack Parr Show in 1960. <laughs> the Andy Williams Show in 1962. Jackie Gleason Show in 1962. Henry Fonda and the Family in 1962. The Patty Duke Show, The Genius, 1963. Brooks Law, Who Killed Ro Cable Roberts yeah, in 1963. <laughs> Grindle. Was the week before Christmas, 1963, Jack Parr program, 1964, Burke's Law, Who Killed Merlin the Great, 1964, the Mike Douglas Show, syndicated, 1964, The Munsters, Rockabye Munster, 1964, The Munsters, The Low Cal Munster, 1964, The Munsters, Eddie's Nickname, 1965. Okay, okay, you mentioned You get the idea. The Patty Duke Show, yes. the guy who played the father. William Schaller. somebody who's been on like every show. In fact, what? I just saw him last now, week reason... at House Party 2. In fact, <laughs> yeah, true. in fact, uh, at yeah, one point he was the too. he was like the president of the um, well, screen actors. The, yeah, deal, no, the, the the Emmy people. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. The uh, uh, Television Academy of Arts and Sciences. Well, he was right. like the president, which is I think how he got some of his jobs. He's like, well, I'm shutting you down unless you give me some little bit part. Well, of Well, like now. I remember him <laughs> as I remember him first as Patty Duke's father, right. but then when I got back into reruns and saw that he was actually on Dobie Gillis. He was on dozens and of shows. And then now you know he just pops up all the time. He's still working. Right. Like I, said, I was in a house party last week. <laughs> okay, an old let's crazy see. Man. Burke's Law mentioned Burke's <laughs> Law before. Okay, Holly. Wood Palace, Gidget, F True, <laughs> I Dream of Genie, Bob Hope Chrysler well, I think it was a Theater. If you, if you did, if you did the Bewitch, you had to do I Dream of Genie. Yeah, that, that kind yeah, of seemed to be a later thing. Reciprocal deal there. That, that girl. Hey, landlord, Beverly Hillbillies. Everybody's hey, talking. Landlord. Everybody had to do Hollywood Palace. Um, yeah. yeah, I think that was. <laughs> that's how you paid your dues. The Mothers in Law. Oh, the Mothers in Law. <laughs> the Jonathan Winter show. show. The Flying Nun. <laughs> Craft musical, Love American Style, of course, who wasn't Everybody on Love American, American Style? Yes. The Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour. Who his name is. <laughs> oh, on and on and on. Rowan's and Martin's Laughing, Password, The Dating Game. Well, Password, I did Password. Matt Davis Show. <laughs> okay, okay. We get the idea. This Paul, guy, Paul was a hard TV, working TV guy. TV movies and miniseries. <laughs> Gidget grows up. He's dead now. Gidget gets married. He just worked himself to yeah, death. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. Just He's overworked dead himself. dead now. And here's a little synopsis of him. The comic <laughs> actor who usually played a smug, fussy type. He was a longtime center square on the Hollywood squares, mounting scripted jokes as if they were spontaneous witticisms. Ooh, can we say that on TV? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mouthing, no, scripted, mouthing, mouthing. Yes. scripted. That's Jesus. what we can't say. Scripted. Yeah, that's what bothered me. Yeah. I just Fanny said Flag so many used things. Fanny Flag do a lot of shows Fanny too. Fanny Flag. Yeah. There's another Jesus, one. You kind of grew up on Fanny Flag. Well, no, I can't say I grew up on her, I but mean, she was I just on everything. Oh, shut up, you nasty man. <laughs> but she was just on like everything. Yeah, that Fanny she Flag. She was like the only actress with a southern accent, I guess. Though that kept it. That kept it. Right. She was proud of her southern That's accent, right. so she kept it. She was like on a new Vic, new Vic Van Dyke, new Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> Can you say that on TV? Yeah. <laughs> Match game oh, PM. <laughs> oh, Match you, game PM. <laughs> Match game like Excedrin PM. Match, Match game, game PM. PM. <laughs> For the nighttime watcher. The Liars Club. Oh, oh the Liars Club. One. Harper Valley PTA. Larry Hovis used the to be on the series. Liars Club oh, yeah. a lot too. Most of the cast of Hogan's Heroes seem to show up yeah. a lot on that. That was a good show though. The cast the camera, the match game. Yeah, candy camera's what I really Merv remember. Merv Griffin a show. Oh, here's one of my favorites. Beat the clock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Bobby Gentry is that special. The old star beat the clock. Uh, no, no, this no, was no, the original the beat, beat the clock. The clock. Syndicated okay. back in 1969. Wow. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, Crosswits. <laughs> Oh, she was on Captain Kangaroo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the love boat. Everybody and, ooh, was on the love ooh, boat. She was on. the new original Wonder Woman, which was. Wait a minute. I got one who was on every show. Billy Barney. <laughs> Just Hello? about. We need if a they, short guy, a real they, short guy. Really short Billy's guy. your man, Billy he's Barty. there. If we they need couldn't you in get, a costume. He's, he's there. there. <laughs> okay, short guys in costumes. I'll go with that for Billy Barty. But yeah. Yeah, so, um, other than that, it was uh, Michael Dunn, who was yeah. pretty much the short, short guy. guy. But Billy Barty was a short guy Billy, in costume. Billy Barty's been like on every show. Come on, he's been on every show. Look at Billy Barty. He's been on every show. <laughs> he and like, Paul Lynn did a show together. It's, it's the Billy Barty book. It's just, uh, it's just, just a references. Small book, but yeah, well, it's a very short book. Yeah. <laughs>
Hmm. Well, while he's looking for that, well, we'll we'll talk about one of the... Oh, we got it. <laughs> yeah, bye, Gala. We got it here. <laughs> okay, Ford Festival, Circus Boy, The Spike Jones Show, Club Oasis, Sigmund and the Sea Monster, Ace Crawford, Private Eye. Also, Mr. Lucky, This Is Your Life, Peter Gunn, Art Linkletter, Rawhide, My Three Sons, Get Rawhide. Smart. He was, really he was on short several yeah, guitars. Um, <laughs> <Or a pony. laughs> uh, Love American Style, was on Barney American Miller, Style. Love Boat, Little House on the Prairie. Everybody the knows short, Little uh, House on the Prairie. <laughs> 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 it's no one, it was still too big for him. <laughs> Chips. Everybody's been Played on the chips. short driver. <laughs> Chips, the show with Eric Estrada. <laughs> and Michael Dorn. That's right. <laughs> Eric Estrada's uh, pulling over babes for having too big a taco now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Can we say that on TV? Yeah. Taco? Hey, no too big a taco. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let, let, well, let's let go to another big guy, Bernie Capel. Oh, my man, goodness. Right? This is your man. That's you right. Have, you have been building up for Bernie for, yeah. for In fact, two years this now. Whole show, <laughs> this whole show was based originally on Bernie yes, Capel. Yes, that's right. He inspired this show. It's yes. dedicated to him. <laughs> this man. This man did. He, I don't think he ever actually had a starring role on a show. Well, it was a love boat, sort of. Well, but he wasn't the star. Gavin McLeod was the star. But he had star. to be there. He was a co-star. He had to. Yeah, be you there. could. He could be a co-star in a show. That was one thing. <laughs> well, of course, his big part as Siegfried and Get Smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what we have? He was Jerry Bauman on That Girl. He was. Everybody was on that. Louis, <laughs> Louis Pellucci on the Doris Day Show. Okay. Charlie Miller on Needles and Pins. Okay. Alan Adele on When Things Were Rotten. Rotten. That great, the great, um, well, now, see, now I can't think of his what? name. Mel Brooks TV show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like his, his only TV, and that was just a great show. Oh, yeah. yeah. It really was. This was, this was, the, one of the reasons it was probably great is because Mel didn't try to star in it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was before he had to be the star of every movie, and every project he was in. Because that's kind of when things just kind of went yeah, down the yeah, dumper yeah. for old Mel mm -hmm. there. But, okay, Bernie. <laughs> and then, of Boy. course, Adam Bricker, Dr. Adam Bricker on The, the Love Man. Boat. I did not realize The Love Boat ran from 1977 to 1986. That's scary. Oh, oh yeah. still in production that in Underground scary. Laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but well, now I have here the, the did you that, know that? <laughs> that Lauren Tweez clone. <laughs> you know, uh, I have the Bernie Capel guesting episode. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, just just run through this. My favorite Martian, the Lucy Show. If you, if you tape this part of the show, you may, you may you just want to fast forward over it. My favorite Martian, five minutes. The Lucy Show, the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> my favorite. Okay, my, Ben <laughs> Casey. The Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, the Beverly Farmer's Beverly Daughter. <laughs> the Dick Van Dyke Martin. Show. <laughs> Death of a Salesman, Green Acres, Run Buddy Run, <laughs> The Hero, The Flying Nun. Everybody did The Flying Nun. <laughs> Bewitched. Um, Everybody did that one. Room 222, Love mm. American Style. Um, Everybody did Love American funny Style. Funny Face. <laughs> Let's funny try to find Funny Face. Yeah. What's that? That was Sandy Sandy Duncan, Duncan yeah. yeah. The Odd Couple. <laughs> Bob Newhart Show. <laughs> The Doris Day Show. The I'm Paul Lynn Show. Oh. <laughs> Paul called all his friends up. Hi, right, come to my show. I got a show. Come to my show now. Give me, come and give me my show. If you ever get a show, put me on your show. Kojak, Switch, Chico and the Man, <laughs> Alice, the new Mike Hammer, ABC After School Special, The Day My Kid Went Punk. <laughs> Oh, oh. It was a very special after school It was a real special. short when the kid yeah. comes home. TV goes, oh, movies and miniseries. The hey, end. No, you're not. The <laughs> end. <laughs> Love Boat 2 and Get Smart Again. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. He did Beverly Hillbillies too, huh? Yeah. Steve Benedaris, she did Beverly Hillbillies, but she also had her own show. Well, you want to talk about the other big guy? The other, the other guy we were actually going to originally create the whole show for, Bernard, Bernard Fox. Fox. <laughs> this Samantha. guy. Samantha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Dr. Bombay, come right away. <laughs> I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a new pair of alligator shoes. I was in the swamp. Ha, 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 That's where you can be. Go on. Go and, uh, and he was Colonel Crittenden on Hogan's Heroes. Oh, yeah. Playing virtually the same character. Ha, 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 ha,
Interesting, though, uh, that Bernard Fox actually was on Bewitched before he played Dr. Bombay. Oh. Yeah, he played uh -huh. this other part playing pretty much the same character. <laughs> as, as this guy who was like a, a lecturer saying that, that uh, like, witches weren't real and all this, and he accidentally, through his archaeological travels, had picked up this ring or something that actually affected witches, and Sammy is like, uh, is popping in and out and stuff, and hmm. they have to trick it, trick him to get it away from him because they can't use witchcraft because it doesn't work on him. And <laughs> so, <laughs> and then he came back later to play Dr. Bob Beck. <laughs> okay, but he was also on. Oh, no. There we go again. <laughs> the Danny Thomas Show, the Andy Griffith uh, Show. The Thicken Flying Nun. <laughs> the Holland Show. <laughs> the Dick Van Dyke Show, Mikhail's Navy. 12 o'clock high. Hey, there's a different one. Okay, I'll just go to and try to find the different ones. Uh, the Barry one. Mason. I see F Man from Uncle. Uh, okay, over here, yeah. I like this. We have The Man from Uncle, The Thoroughfare, followed by Hogan's Heroes, The Crittenden Plan. <laughs> <laughs> the Monkeys. Yeah, um, everybody was on The Monkeys. Yeah. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> Hogan's Heroes, okay. Love American Style, of course. Partridge Family. That's what we haven't heard yet. Columbo, that's another one oh, we yeah. haven't heard yet. Wasn't it uh, like a requirement? in the 60s that you had to be on Love American Star? Was it Ooh. the 70s? When did the show start? Uh, uh, early, early 70s. 70s? Barbary <laughs> Coast. Oh! <laughs> oh! MASH! Lou Grant! Simon and Simon! <laughs> well, Murder, shows. she wrote. Ooh, another one. Okay, and he was in a couple of movies and TV and movie miniseries things. 100 Baskervilles and Gauguin the Savage. Ooh! <laughs> I wanted to mention somebody. I don't know if they're even in here because this is... There, th this, this woman's doing a lot of shows that don't seem to do very well. Mary Edith Burrell. She was originally on Fridays. Oh, yeah. Fridays. Yeah, and she's done a lot of Money. shows. In fact, she's now on this new Jackie Thomas show, which, oh, which I won't Lord. mention this. I won't mention the network, so I'm not sued or something. But it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> it's 800 characters, and you don't care about a single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we're going to talk about that, Melanie Chartoff was yeah. also on, on that Friday show, and I, 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 I kind of had a soft spot there for Melanie oh. Chartoff. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Is that why you watch Parker Lewis? Mm. <laughs> well, who else we got? Mm. How about, how about, how about, um, um, Artie Johnson? Yeah, Ooh. Artie did, did Artie a Artie was on shows. everything. Come Artie, on. by golly, Artie. I bet he was on Love American Style. <laughs> How much do you want to bet? I am betting you right. much a safe I'm bet. Right. <laughs> I am betting you're right. Artie Johnson, because he was, you know, mostly on laughing, but it seemed like he showed up on everything. Yes, when they needed did. somebody a little bit taller than Billy Barney. <laughs> well, they needed somebody who was like um, a normal... Someone who was very... Normal sexy. size, but yet short. <laughs> yeah, normal size, yet short. When they, when, they, when they called, we need a short guy. They said, Billy Barney, no, too short. Too short. <laughs> Artie, Artie Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was either Artie Johnson or Henry Gibson. Yeah. It was the other one. Because I think I they're used pretty to get much about the same size. Because they were both on Laugh In. And they were both short. And they were both, yeah, not a, not tall. <laughs> of course, okay. everybody was. Artie Johnson. <laughs> was he on Love American Style? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm betting he's on Love American Style. I think you're right. The Emmy winning comic who was white hot in the late 60s, thanks to Ronan Martin's white Laugh In, hot. on which he played the very interesting Nazi, the dirty old man Tyrone F. Horney, and other assorted characters. He was on Sally. He was on Hennessy. Don't call me Charlie. Ronan Martin's Laugh In. Ben Vereen's coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> The I'm Gong Show, Knockout, <laughs> Games People Play, and Glitter. But he was also on December Bride, The Twilight Zone, Peter Loves Mary, Dinah Shore, Special, Bringing Up Buddy, Alfred Hitchcock, Buddy. <laughs> Yes, Yes, Nanette, <laughs> Frontier Circus, Yes, yes Nanette, <laughs> The Andy Griffith Show, The G.E. True, um, Mikhail's Navy, No Time for Sergeants, um, Bob Hope Chrysler's Theater. Uh, a load of stuff. Let's just Didn't leave it at that. Did you love stuff. American Style? Hollywood Squares. I love American Style. Hollywood Squares. Uh, I also want to mention it. Love American Style. Yes, yes, yes. Love and the Living Doll. Yes. I even remember seeing that episode. <laughs> Oh, he's on another one. Love well, and the Nurse. Well, believe it or not, we're actually done with a half hour. Love and the Boomerang. <laughs> we, oh, I don't want to know about that. We, <laughs> we seem to, it's time to just get the heck out of here because uh, next time we're going to be talking about, uh, what the heck are we talking about next time? More DC? Um, no, more, more DC comics. That's, That's right. right. We're on the back to the comic book deal. 
more to that darn comic book continue. thing and to you and all of yours the most merriest of Christmas and holiday seasons. Even though you probably won't see this one until yep. somewhere in January. January. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows when it'll be on? So tune in next time for that. For all of us here at Vast Wasteland, we'll see you next time. Go on, everybody! Ho, ho, ho! Good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland.